Hello coders, welcome back to my channel Lazy Coder. Today we will see payroll system. So in this project, I have implemented multiple features including generation of oscillate salary slip of employee, salary prediction using machine learning and the viewing of the salary slips and admin can manage the employees attendance of employee managing the leaves announcements so there are a lot of features that i have implemented in this project so before proceeding with the project's features let's go to my channel lazy coder so this is my channel where i have uploaded multiple projects including employee management system student management face recognition there are lots of projects you can check this out on my channel and just only one request from you guys that please subscribe to my channel it really motivates me to make more projects so let's go to the payroll system so this is the admin dashboard uh, i have already created the account of admin and have logged in through the admin credentials so yeah this is the dashboard uh, where admin can see the attendance percentage of employees and how many employees are active and payroll and then so this is the amount uh, will be shown for the this month uh, that is paid uh, to the employees okay and this uh, section contains the uh, recent salary slips okay that have generated by the admin and uh, whoever the employees leave on leave today will be shown here okay so let's log out from the this admin account and let's start from the beginning okay so let's click on the logout okay so this is the home page and here the navigation bar and the home page is there and then this is the footer so let's click on the about us so i have created the about us contact us is also there and click on the login so uh, and in this system there is basically two users admin and employee so an employee account will be added by only admin only so i have already created the account of admin through super user command so i will log in with the admin accounts but uh, admin and employee both can log in through the same uh, page okay, so let's log in to the admin account uh, when uh, admin will log in so this is the dashboard will be shown here and we have already discussed this part so let's go to the employee in the first section uh, admin can view the employees so here you can see that all the details will be shown here with the profile picture employee name and id and the designation and there is one action column is there from where uh, admin can edit the employees and delete it i will show you uh, this by deleting one employee and from here uh, admin can uh, add the employees so if we click on add new so admin have to fill all these details okay and then click on the add employee so employee will be added there is a separate section added for the adding the employee okay so this is regarding the viewing the employee so currently if we see on the dashboard uh, there is four employee right so we will show you by deleting one employee so here you can see that four uh, active employees is there right so i will delete the this employee sohan kumar okay so let's go to the employee view employees okay click on the delete so it is asking again so it is the confirmation page so let's click on the delete and the, the message is showing here that employee sohan has been deleted right so let's verify it so here also we uh, sohan has gone right uh, let's go to the dashboard now you can see that uh, attendance uh, means the active employees goes to three and the payroll also down why because uh, the salary slip also gone for that employee 
so this one also decreased and attendance also decreased due to that only because someone was present today so attendance got dropped to 33 percent so 33 percent employee is present today okay so now let's go to the marking the attendance so element can mark the attendance of any employee for any dates okay so this is the this is the page for uh, making the attendance by employee so admin can load the first have to load the any dates suppose uh, click on the on that date and load the dates and can make the attendance suppose mark uh, puja kumari as a absent and the rest two as a present okay now again go to the fourth click on the leave okay click on the saved right and then again click on the third click on the load date okay now this time i will mark this puja kumari as a half day i will show you by logging the, through the puja kumari account and we will show all the details so here you can see that uh, 3rd september is marked now i will click on the second click on load and now this time i will mark as a present okay so this uh, this is the how admin can make the attendance of any employee so now let's go to viewing the attendance so suppose if uh, for the 6th of uh, September, admin can see that uh, Mohan Kumar was present and Puja Kumari and Sumit Kumar was on leave. And for the, in a similar way, uh, admin can check the attendance for another date. Or you, let's suppose if you want to check the attendance for some other days. So let's click on the view report. Here it's saying that no attendance record was found for this date. Why? Because admin has not marked any employee as a Mm, absent present or half day or leave so that's why it's showing as a no attendance mark but uh, we have marked for the second of september right so let's click on it view default now here you can see that uh, data is showing here right so in a similar way uh, this was about the attendance marking the attendance and paying the attendance for the uh, admin so now click on the let's go to the payroll part that is the main uh, part of our application so let's click on the view slips this is regarding the uh, admin can view the salary slip of any employee suppose click on the mohan kumar and load slips okay so all the salary slips uh, suppose pay period is uh, 1st of september to 30th of september net salary is showing here okay and let's click on the view Here. here salary slip is based on the performance of a employee and how performance is decided based on the attendance uh, so if we see on the basic salary so basic salary is fixed when we add the employee uh, so this uh, is the attributes that we add and hra hra and bonus uh, is fitted by when we generate the salary when we click on the generate salary and these two we have to feed it right but performance incentive will be calculated based on the attendance suppose uh, this employee uh, is a suppose this employee rating is given see here day per in period is 30 days for september 30 days was there but uh, he was present only five days that's why uh, performance incentive is zero if his age percentage is 50 percent attendance is there then uh, some amount will be given so logic is there behind it and overtime pay is 5000 why because overtime uh, see uh, below above uh, above 50 hours uh, if they have worked overtime then uh, 5000 will be added if they have worked for 40 hours then 4000 so likewise uh, we have added the implemented the overtime pay and order bonus so for each extra order 5 500 into 10 so for each order uh, one uh, 10 rupees will be added so 500 into 10 5000 uh, cash is added here
okay so total total is 41000 but standard deduction was 2000 maybe due to some reason uh, admin decided to deduct uh, this amount from the net salary that's why 39000 came and uh, all those details is showing here attendance of 16.7 resulted in the rating of 5 no incentive was applied okay now i will show you i will mark the attendance as a hundred percent and then we will show okay so salary prediction here no prediction is showing for the employee why because uh, salary see this is based on the machine learning uh, basically it uh, uses all the previous salary slips uh, and uh, the attendance of employees so based on that um, uh, data sets uh, machine learning and the libraries and decide that what uh, will be the uh, next uh, salary slips so let's uh, let's generate the salary slip of uh, Pooja Kumari okay and then we will see okay one minute. so 48,000 was a uh, salary slip for August right and one more thing I want to mention that admin can delete the salary slips of any employee okay and uh, can uh, and uh, admin cannot generate the salary slip that is already generated suppose if I want to generate the salary slip between uh, of of a puja kumari from August 1st to 31st then it will be not be allowed so let's click on the generate salary slip okay so now let's go to the here uh, select the puja kumari okay and now ha have to generate the salary slip for july okay from july 1st to 31st okay hr i want to give as a 5000 and bonus 4000 and deduction is 1000 and overtime is uh, let's say 20 so 20 uh, hour is there so 2000 will be added and extra process order is let's say 30 so 13 to 10 300 will be added so now I click on the generate cell so here message displayed that uh, salary slip generated for the puja kumari now let's go to the view slips here and let's click on the puja kumari load slips and now here you can see that two salary, salary slip is generated for the uh, puja kumari right so now go to the uh, prediction why because two salary slip is uh, generated then salary will be predicted for the next month so let's go to the salary slip now here you can see that uh, predicted net salary is uh, 46900 okay so why it got deducted because uh, because uh, the salary slip for uh, uh, july was more than this one right 48 uh, so it was decreased so that's why machine learning decided that uh, this will be the salary next uh, next uh, salary slip will be this okay so this is uh, and this details can be seen by the employee also let's go to the managed leaves uh, here uh, here um, employee can apply for the leaves and admin can either approve it and reject it this is the simple logic behind this and announcement may suppose admin wants to announce something and uh, then admin can do that uh, let's click on the new announcement And this announcement can be seen by the uh, employee also tomorrow will be for a day okay. and then admin can post the announcement here now it is seen here right and the, all those details are coming here so let's log out from the this account and let's log in as a uh, employee Here, here you can see that uh, employee dashboard you can see right and uh, welcome back to Jakumari this this is the dashboard and this is the sidebar okay and uh, this one is also working and 16% uh, is the month's attendance 
and latest net salary is 48,000 right and the last performance rating was 5 why because in August uh, he, he was in, uh, in uh, salary means attendance was below uh, I think uh, below 50% right so that is why uh, rating was low if we click on my attendance then this calendar view uh, employee can see okay so for this week if you see here uh, this one is data is showing here right present uh, half day leave absent so in this way uh, she can view their attendance okay present in the monthly wise she can see that okay let's see the attendance of her August it is blank right okay there is one more option weekly earnings so weekly earnings is also decided based on the machine learning only if you see here and uh, this present this week is only one okay so that's why estimated weekly earning is showing in this one only and projected monthly incentive is showing as a zero why uh, because uh, attendance is not good right your current attendance for this month is 16.7 percent if you maintain this you are on track of zero percent zero rupees only okay so based on that uh, weekly earnings also can be seen by the employee and the salary prediction here the same amount will be shown here and the employee can apply for the leaves uh, suppose uh, employee wants to take the leave from the uh, 8 to 8 to 13 and uh, vacation and reason can provide by the employee okay so it is showing here right and uh, and this is the uh, what we say the profile okay and all those details are showing here and these two buttons are showing so i will fix it and this is the announcement that can be seen by the uh, employee so let's click on the dashboard okay so now log out from the uh, log out from this and then log in as a uh, admin and let's see whether view came or not leave uh, leave request came or not right so let's log in here now you can see that uh, approve or reject is coming for the leave so suppose if i want to approve then it will be shown here okay so i have approved it uh, so yeah this was about the this uh, payroll system where uh, admin, admin can generate the sleeps uh, salary prediction using the machine learning so there are lots of features that i've implemented here i uh, you can if you want this project you can check out the description and please subscribe to the channel so it really motivates me to create more projects uh, thank you so much